Hello friends, welcome back and I am Farah Sheikh. Well in today's video, I will be showing you the newly released Excel LED function. Well the LED function gives you the provision to declare the value or the formula in the name form and that you can use it multiple number of times in your calculation as and when required. Let us quickly look this example. So in this example, we are going to do the calculation of average quantity that is sold. The calculation is quite simple, sum of quantities divided by number of line items. We are going to count that average quantities that are sold. Now let us do this with the let function and let me show you the syntax of that. So equals to let name one is a place where we are going to declare the name to a variable or to the formula. So here I'm going to say this as total comma and sum of the quantities that are sold. So now whenever I will call total it will call the sum function and take the quantity from the total comma and now count comma and the count of these lines over here close parentheses now you have seen that i have declared two variables that is total and count and now the last one is my calculation remember always the last argument will be your calculation so we are going to call that variable total over here total divided by the counts so that will do the calculation for me awesome so this gives me a clear view that i'm summing the values which is called as totals and count is number of line items that has been getting counted now let me show you quickly one example over here which is let i will call this as variable tax comma it will be five percent comma and now my calculation will be this value multiplied by the tax. Close parentheses, enter, boom, we get that as a result. Earlier when we do it with the classic way, it used to be like the value, then multiply by 5% and we still get the same records. Now let me show you the second example. So here we are constructing an aging report, which tells us that this order falls under which group of age so if you can see the calculation which i have done b4 minus a4 then greater than 90 days then it's called about 90 days every time i have repeated this, this calculation now with this new function let function it had made my task very easy so i have declared the variable over here the day which is minusing delivery date minus the start date and then i used it into the switch every time i have called that day variable so that has really made my job easy to write the formula now let us jump to example number three well we have a list of employees over here and list one and list two and both are into excel tables so our task is to check the records in list one and list two and pull the salary equals to v lookup the lookup value comma and check it into list one you can see the beauty of working with excel tables it has just grabbed the entire list range and it has made it so neat and we are looking into column number three comma and this will be exact match enter i'm just going to do a little bit of cheating i'm just going to copy this formula and I'm going to fill down and we are still getting na's over here and is any so if it is any let's check the logic trues and false and we are going to wrap it into a function comma if the value is true then we are going to say this check in the list two and if the value is false then it will be in the list one close parentheses again we'll fill down this and we're still getting one any and if error we will say this one no data and let's fill down so you can see that we have a very lengthy construction of this formula so let me show you the real magic and the power of the let function equals to let and now i need to declare the variable name so i will call this as blue but what i'm going to do i'm going to put it on the new line so alt enter and blue comma and the vlookup formula 
which we have copied it earlier so that's a formula comma alt enter now this will be yellow comma and again that formula and this time i'll just change the location to list two comma alt enter error and i will say no data comma alt enter now this is the place where i'm going to construct my formula if open parentheses the logical test is any and the blue the list blue it will check that whether it's having is any and if it's true call the yellow table comma or it's called the blue table that's it and we are just going to wrap this into if error comma see the error value close parentheses and again close parentheses so now you can see the construction of my formula is so neat i don't have to write that formula again and again blue and blue it has just managed it for me enter voila this is awesome let's fill down so this is brilliant my friend let function will let you change the way you construct the formula now so i hope my friends you have enjoyed this video make sure that you hit the like button share this video and let me know in the comment section how are you going to use this let function and this is one of the way that you can write the complex formula you can write a very heavy complex formula also and it will work amazingly so the soft copy of this file will be available on my website so feel free to download from there and the link will be in the video description signing off for today your friend frashi see you soon happy learning